Hello, this is Cosmic Graphics, and today we're going to be looking at basic Inkscape stuff, and to do that, we're going to be trying to make the logo of Lego. I'm going to try to make this. So let's open up, open up Inkscape. And when this comes up, we're going to want to full screen it and go to doc file, document properties. And let's just make it a big square, so 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels. Zoom in with uh, I was doing that by pressing the plus sign on the keyboard there And it's nice to have open align and distribute and object fill and stroke So let's just start off by importing this Lego logo so we know what we're doing here. It's on desktop Alrighty got the Lego logo here So let's start off with the text I've actually downloaded from a website uh, a font called, I think, Lego Thick. So let's type in Lego into there, select the that right there, hold down control and drag this bottom arrow. Now we're gonna double click on it, highlight it, change the font to Lego Thick. Yep, that was it. And I'm gonna hold down control to shrink it down because that's really big. And as you can probably see already, if you look at the spacing between these letters and the letters of the real logo, my letters are very far apart. So what you can do is double click on these, highlight them all, and go up here to this spacing between letters. And it's kind of glitchy actually, it doesn't actually do what you type in. So I'm just going to say go to negative 20, and as you can see it only went to negative 1.95. And that looks good for these three letters, maybe a little bit more, I'm gonna try negative 25, there we go. Except the L is still pretty far from the E, so you can select just these two letters, you can bring these closer, try negative 30, uh, maybe a little more, negative 40. There we go, that looks good, except now these are farther apart. So let's shrink these. So a negative 20, there we go, that looks good. And now that we have this here, going to add a black outline, or yeah, black fill in between these letters, because as you probably notice, there's black all between each of these letters right here, and I've got big white spaces. So to do this, we're going to select this, we're going to copy it, paste it, Control V or Control C and Control V. I'm gonna go to Stroke Paint and add stroke to it. And from here, I'm going to make this stroke. I don't know. Let's say 20 wide. You can drag this behind here. Oh uh, yeah. So one more thing. First, we're gonna to want to fill in these letters to make it just all black. It'll just help. So we can fill in that, fill in that, fill in that, and fill in that, and select all these. Looks like I've got a fill that's yellow, yep, I, uh, I, I do want a fill, sorry. I'm gonna make it all black, just like that, and we don't really need, oh yes, we do need a stroke paint. Uh, 40 might be a little big, you only need like 10 for that area. And then I'm gonna highlight all of this and group it with Control G. Now I can go behind here, you could also press the end key to make it sync behind there, except this white in these letters is actually transparent. We actually want to make it white because if I put this over it, it just looks like it's behind the black and really it's just transparent. So we're going to select this fill tool. We're going to click inside these letters. I'm going to go through and highlight them. I'm holding down shift also. I forgot to say that earlier. If you hold down the shift key, you can select multiple items at once. I'm going to go to fill. I'm going to make this white and I don't want to stroke paint. Now I'm just gonna select all these by dragging and Control V to group them, or Control G, I'm sorry. And now there's an outline behind there. Except as you can see, there's still space between this L and the E right here. So I'm actually probably gonna first off, or no, it's too late for that. Okay, group these again. Select this outline, make this stroke paint a lot thicker. Maybe 40. Ah, uh, 50. Still that gap in there. I'm just gonna keep going until that's closed up. There we go. 
as you can see, I just made that gap fill in right there. Let's stretch this out a little. No, not that. I'm sorry. Select this outer layer and drag that outwards. Drag it right onto there. It's not perfect, but it's close enough. <laughs> now I'm going to select the back layer and this front layer by holding shift on both of them. I'm going to go to this line and distribute and center on the vertical axis and center on the horizontal axis. And then control G to group them. So now I've made that black portion. Now I'm going to copy and paste. And I'm going to fill in. Oh, whoa. I've got the stroke paint on way too much right here. I'm going to bring this down to like 10. And I want this, I'll just keep black for now. Fill in all these. Highlight them all. Control G. But I don't want this black, I want this yellow. And to get the exact yellow color from the logo, I can select this tool down here, the color picker. Select that yellow. And that just made it really weird because I have stroke paints going on. So I'm going to unselect that. And let's think of a better way to do this. I only want this shape color, so I'm actually going to first fill all this in with that yellow. Delete this. And undo that. Uh, now that I have this yellow, make sure it's still that correct yellow color. Uh, nope, alright. And now this is the exact size of that black background. So I'm going to add a stroke to it. But I'm going to make it the exact same as the fill, which is Y100. So I'm going to bring Y to 100 and this to 0. And I'm going to make this stroke a lot bigger. Let's try 20. Let's also hit the end key to shrink that down. Uh, it's still pretty small. Let's try 40 on there. I can bring this over just to get an idea. Uh, that actually looks pretty good. So we're going to select both of these, select this, hold down shift, select this, and we're going to center on the vertical, center on the horizontal, and control G to group them. So now we have all the text with the yellow and black background. Now we're just going to make the squares. So we're going to select this create a square or rectangle tool, hold down control to make a perfect square, click and drag. Gonna select this picker tool. We will want a stroke. We're going to want it to be black though, like that. And it looks really thick. Maybe try a 10 pixel wide stroke. There we go. That looks nice. And we don't want rounded corners. We want square corners, just like this logo right here. You can see it close up. And now that we have that, we also want to make this center area red. To make it the exact red, we can use the color picker, select the logo. And also to center this, you can look up here where there's the X and Y. We've got to sense this uh, document. I made it 1,000 by 1,000 pixels. X starts on 0, Y starts on 0. The width is 1,000, and the height should be 1,000. I'm going to click on this and hit the end key. Now we're just going to select this, hold down shift, select the back square, center vertical, center horizontal, and of course that just messed up. First we're going to group these and just send this back to 0x. There we go. And that looks like the Lego logo, so I hope you learned something. Please subscribe.